Well, hello, people! Perusian Z here. It's been a long time, I know. I'm sorry about that. Ooh, I'm already doing stupid shit. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've been... F since I've vlogged. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, you know, when you have to spend uh, six days a week doing stuff that you don't like, uh, you need to do stuff that you really like uh, for the seventh day. And the thing is, um, vlogging has been, uh, let's say, um, on a low priority base recently. Um, but I can assure you I'm back to it. And today we'll start with a new thing that's on my bike. It's this unit right here with this fucking bitch that doesn't look in her fucking mirror. And uh, this is a Scott Oiler, or rather the Scott Oiler E System Control and Display Unit. CDU, as you would call them in an, in an airplane. Um, what is a Scott Oiler? For those of you who have been living under a rock for the past five years, uh, Scott Oilers, um, they oil your chain while you're moving, which is great because you don't have to take care of it. Uh, but I'll come back to that later. So, so that's, that's the main functionality of this thing, really, is to, uh, to make an automatic and hassle-free maintenance of your chain while you're moving which is great, especially when you're riding in bad conditions such as this uh, in, a, in a city under the rain all the time, you know and you don't really necessarily have the time to take care of, uh, take care of your chain uh, as, as often as you would like to so, so yeah, that's the thing. How it works is the main difference, is the main key point here um, because the, the V-System uses the engine and so as soon as the engine is running uh, the V-System will start oiling your chain, whereas this one has a, an ex accelerometer in it, which understands the movement of your bike and therefore knows its, uh, its speed and oils the chain accordingly. So that's, that's a very important feature and very, very important thing because it won't be oiling the bike when you're sitting still in traffic with the engine on. It won't be oiling the back, Wh whereas in, in our case, um, yeah, yeah, whereas in the, the V-System case, as, as soon as the engine is, is turned on, uh, the thing is oiling. And um, the, the second thing, I'm going to go into the things that I like most about it. Um, the, 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 the second thing, so, in that sense, is that it's extremely personalizable. So, y you can uh, adapt the oiling system to whichever riding style you have. Uh, if, like me, you ride in, in cities, you won't be riding at two, uh, at, at two great speeds. And so you need it to start oiling at, at lower speeds. Which you can define, you fucking idiot. Which you can define um, in, uh, in the unit itself. So uh, you can set uh, a, high, a higher or a lower speed uh, for it to start, to start oiling. What you can also do is uh, regulate the quantity of oil that goes to your chain in uh, drops per second. No, in uh, seconds between drops, sorry. Um, and, that, and that goes anywhere between uh, 180 seconds to uh, somewhere around 20. I, I've, I've got to correct, I'll correct that on the video. But it's, um, you know, it, it can really vary depending on, on uh, what you need, really. And uh, what kind of conditions you're uh, riding in. So uh, if it's uh, raining or if it's a beautiful day, you'll probably be changing the settings uh, as you go, which is one of the great things. Uh, another fun thing about this uh, unit is that it has a thermometer, which is always good if your bike doesn't have one. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I could say that it's it's a gizmo, it's a feature that you don't really need, but I, I've come to realize that you might, because uh, I live in a place of the world where it often uh, is very cold, and sometimes it's below zero and you don't really know that. And so it will indicate that for you, and, and, uh, and clearly you will know if there's a risk of icing or not, which is, which is amazing. There's a status indicator as well. Uh, with a cross when the bike is standing still and the system is on uh, with a tick mark when the system is ready to oil but not oiling yet and with an arrow facing upward when uh, the system is actually oiling the bike 
and what that does is it helps you know if you've set your system correctly meaning if you've uh, if you've uh, gone to the, the setup menu and um, and set everything according to your riding style if it's oiling as you go for example now it's oiling uh, that means that you've set it correctly and it's um, and it's working really well um, one last thing yeah oh, another uh, cool feature is the um, the uh, oil uh, tank um, fill indicator um, which is very nice to have because you obviously know when to order a new bottle of oil and when to change it um, so so that's so that's good but as in all fantastic products I would say that um, one thing I didn't dislike it but it kind of worried me um, is that it's it's a sensitive thing to install it, it comes with great manuals and the manuals are clear and well written but it is a sensitive thing to install it has to be installed very correctly and has to be set up on your bike very correctly and uh, I didn't want to do it myself because you have a, 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 a an electric wire that goes from the unit to your battery and that makes it go under the tank and um, I didn't know how to do that myself so so uh, I, I took it to a garage and, and they did it for me but then they installed it wrong and and I had to reinstall it I'll I'll actually post a review on my on my blog parisianz.com and I'll I'll go into more details about the installation process but I'll do that a bit later when I get the time um, but yeah, you have to you have to set it up on the bike uh, on the bike correctly because it's it's a bit sensitive. Apart from that, really, I have nothing else to to to, to say uh, um, in, in a negative way about this product. It's uh, it's quite fantastic and it helps me a lot and it has helped me recently uh, with the uh, with the moving thing and and the the the, the fact that I sometimes um, live uh, at my girlfriend's and sometimes at my house and that my bike sleeps outside all the time which it never did before uh, it's extremely practical in that sense so because because you know it's hassle free I don't have to worry about my chain anymore as I as I used to so you know I hope you enjoyed this review people uh, if you have any questions just don't hesitate to ask uh, you can also go to their website I think it's scottoiler.com but I'm not sure uh, in any case I'll post the links in the description if you have any questions don't hesitate and don't hesitate to to email the guys as well because uh, their support by email I haven't uh, tested any other way of support but by email is is uh, quite excellent and uh, response times are quite fast so um, so that's that's that uh, more vlogging to come next time it's going to be a life update of me blabbering about what happened in the past three weeks uh, cheers people <laughs>